Someone once told me the world can't be saved. So just save yourself. Sometimes I wish I'd listened to that. But I'm not sure it would have made a difference either way. It's easy to look back and judge yourself for the mistakes you've made. The price that others have paid. There was a time when I looked forward to the future. Now, more and more, I find myself living in the past. The what-ifs, the should-haves, and the could-have-dones. I guess, when you have nothing left, there's comfort in the past. Familiarity, hope. Because when the future is bleak, and the present moment is painful, the past is the easiest place to be. Wake up. We have to go. There are patrols everywhere. Just let me sleep a bit. There's no time. We have to go. Now. We're gonna find a way out of here.
please. We're not invented. Please. Gentlemen, Mr. Von Bucher. Fifty years in the service of science. Fifty years dedicated to discovery. And fifty years of fighting all over the planet for the most basic human right, good health. Today, Cyclo employs 120,000 people, has an annual revenue of $52.5 billion, and remains one of the most important and most innovative pharmaceutical companies on this planet! <laughs> By putting billions and billions into research, we have been able to diagnose and cure new illnesses. And can honestly say, that we have saved more human lives than seat belts, fire departments, and gun legislations combined. We are here to save humanity! We are your savior! Thanks to the shareholders, such as yourselves, pandemics have been stopped. Entire illnesses eradicated. 
Child mortality went down in many parts of the third world, allowing children to grow up strong and safe. And their parents to live a life without fear! Thanks to you! Thanks to all of us! Are you ready to save the rest of the world? A liar! He's a liar! What he's telling you is a crock of shit. So you can feel good about your dividends, your nice little mansions, your luxury sedans, and your eco-friendly chariots that wouldn't survive a day on a dirt road in a poor African country. Not that it matters. You will never set foot in a country like that anyway, but I have. Dr. Campbell, please, this is neither the time nor the place. Sure, Armin. You were never one to rock the boat, were you? Then let me do it for you. Do you want me to tell your shareholders about what happened in Africa? No. Armin doesn't want me to tell you about that. He doesn't want me to tell you that people are dying. And what does Armin do? He takes matters into his own hands. I warned him. I warned him that the vaccine wasn't ready for human testing. But he didn't care. After all, who cares if a bunch of third-class people die in the process? Let me tell you what all of you are really celebrating here. A deadly machine that eats people and spits out money. Because that's what it's all about. Eat the poor to feed the rich. We are your savior? My ass. Ask him. Ask him about the virus he had me create! Ask him about Contamine! Liar! Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an unexpected turn of events. Just a disgruntled ex emperor had clearly too much to drink. I assure you there is no truth behind it. Another angry conspiracist who has nothing better to do. Please. Let's not let our evening be ruined because of it. We still have a lot to celebrate. To another 50 years of saving lives! What the hell do you think you're doing? How did a little stunt bring us one inch closer to getting a vaccine ready? You failed. Get it into your thick skull. And not for the first time. When I found you, you'd bankrupt three companies, had lost all credibility as a researcher, and we're teaching at third-rate university. Chemistry teacher at rural high school will probably have been next to a new fast declining career curve. But it's a brilliant idea. Create a new virus, know it inside out, down to the last molecule, and use that knowledge to create the universal antidote, easy to tailor to any new outbreak. An idea so good that everyone thought you were insane. Except us. It wasn't supposed to go that way. We were making progress. Slowly, safely. It was you who pushed the timeline. Human test subjects? How could we? There you go, Arthur. Finally, the truth creeps in. If the tests on the monkeys hadn't been positive, we would have never taken to the next step. That's not how it was, and you know it. There were still some details missing, and in the end, all the monkeys died! We all died! There is no cure for that. But what did they die from? And correct me when I'm wrong, isn't one of them still alive? So you were spying on me? <laughs> I like to protect my investments. And that's exactly what you are, what you wear at this tent. We require all documentation that is owed by Cyclone. Even your dry cleaning bills should you have invoiced them. And your research will stop immediately. We'll find someone else who can finish it for you. And if I refuse? Then you'll suffer the consequences. Come on. Goodbye, Arthur. You're free to go. I accept to have all information related to Contamin within 24 hours.
Mr. Campbell. Sorry, do I know you? Impressive performance tonight. I'm sorry to ambush you like this, but you can't be too careful. René Clement? The name is Clement, and you should keep the card. Okay, Mr. Clement. What do you want from me? Two minutes of your time, and I guarantee you'll be interested in what I have to say. Okay, two minutes, but that's all. Okay, let's walk and talk. Based on your performance tonight, I'd say that your relationship with Cyclo is anything but good. And you probably need to keep out of the way of Von Buchia for the rest of the foreseeable future. What I don't understand is, was that a cry for help out there or simply attention-seeking? With all due respect, Mr. Clement, how about you just get to the point? A cut-to-the-chase kind of guy. I like that. Okay. I'm here to offer you a job. I knew it. Wait. My organization is prepared to pay you 10 million to come and join us. And do what exactly? Exactly what you've been doing for Cyclo. Sorry, but I'm not for sale. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Mr. Clement. Mr. Campbell, a bad decision can haunt a man for the rest of his life, no matter how long or short that might be. Call me. I know you will. We will ultimately belong to the winners of the future. Thank you for your attention. Will you excuse me a moment? I'll be right with you. Ah, to what do I owe the honor, Mr. Von Bucha? Congratulations, Countess, for this most impressive statement. Oh, thank you. I'm especially pleased to hear that coming from your mouth, but I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to flatter me, so? I have bad news. Okay. Head of security, Paul Kaminsky. Ma'am. Uh, yes, we already know each other from the World Economic Forum in Davos. Or have you forgotten? I certainly haven't. Let's hear it then. We won't be ready in time. There are circumstances we hadn't planned for. What? What circumstances? Circumstances that make it impossible to apply for approval for condomen within the next three months. There is something we have to take care of first. We'll be ready in six months in the earliest, so if I were you, I'd wait a little longer before issuing a press release. Mr. Van Bucher, do not tell me what to do. We had a clear and unambiguous agreement. Last week you assured me that contaminant would be completed on time. I don't want your failure to discredit my good name. The IMF presidential election is in six months and I am not prepared to lose it. So, you have three months, not a day longer. I don't think I need to make you aware of the consequences should you fail. Why, Countess, are you threatening me? If I go down, you go down too. Three months. Not a day longer. Good day. You wild snake. We were wrong the whole time. I think that wasn't included in our calculation somehow. I never realized it until now, but we have it. And it works. That's wonderful, Arthur. It works. First, you need to eat some food. And to get some fresh air. The air down here is not good for you. Okay. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Let's go.